Hello everyone, uh, my name is Abhiral and today we will discuss about how to create an integrated library and symbols and footprint from scratch in LTM designer. So in this uh, particular video we will discuss about these few things. So firstly uh, let's, let's discuss about what is integrated library. So integrated library is a, a combination of symbols and footprint. So integrated library is a file which has symbols and footprints both of the file. Okay. So which contains uh, symbols and footprint, okay? Then uh, what is symbol? So uh, the symbol is uh, a block diagram of particular component which we will use in schematic design. Similarly, the footprint is the exact dimension of the component as well as the pin we will use in layout design, okay? So in f uh, there is basically a two part in particular series. So in the first part, we will discuss about the three ways to design a symbols from scratch. Okay. So let's start with the first way, which is the conventional way of creating symbol. So let's open the LTM designer. So here we'll first create an integrated library. So firstly, right click over this space. Just look at the cursor, right click. So there is an option which is add new project. So there is another option in this add new project is integrated library. Just click on the integrated library. So here we have successfully added an integrated library. Then now we'll discuss about how to add a symbol, uh, how to add a symbol as well as the footprint in this integrated library. So just right click over there, integrated library. There's an option which is add new to project. There's another option which is schematic library. So the, in this schematic library, we'll design a uh, symbol, okay? So just click on that schematic library. So there is a window just pop up uh, over there, the LTM designer. So just follow my cursor and there is an option which is projects, just click on that. So we'll just return to the previous menu, okay? Just right click over the integrated library again, go to that option, add new to project and there's another option which is PCB library, just click on that. So we have al already, uh, we have already added a uh, window in which we'll design footprint, okay? Just again, right click over, uh, just click over the project, left click over the project. So we'll add, uh, just uh, move to the previous menu, okay? Now just save that integrated library, right click over the integrated library, there is an option which is save project. Just click on that. Just save it on uh, desktop. Just clear, cr create a new folder. Integrated library. So we're going to design library for at mega, uh, at mail at mega, one six eight p twenty au. Okay, so just at mail, at mail, one six eight. Okay, this is the PCB library. Now save the schematic file uh, we have added, uh, at mail, one six eight. Now the save the integrated library. One sixty eight. Okay, just save. So now we have successfully created an integrated library. Now the next step is the uh, symbol design. Okay, so just click on the uh, the uh, symbol design window, which is the schematic library window. Right, just click on that, or you can uh, uh, navigate from the um, uh, you can navigate also from uh, the you know taskbar. So there is a both of the file. So just click on the schematic library file. Okay, the the extension is schlib. So now we'll create uh, uh, with the first option, which is the conventional way of creating a symbol. So now go to that uh, particular tab and select a rectangular rectangular model. Okay. So just click on that. So by, by uh, adjusting the cursor movement, you can uh, adjust the size of the rectangle, okay? So just, uh, and right click. So we have successfully placed a rectangle over the screen. Just zoom out this, yeah. Now uh, we're going to place a pins. So just go to sa same uh, tab. There is an option, which is the place pin. Just click on that. 
So by uh, 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 by uh, pressing a space bar, we can rotate it, right? So just uh, place the first pin like this, okay? So now uh, here I forgot one thing. Just delete it and uh, select it another, uh, select it uh, again. So uh, just when the pin at, at our cursor position, just press the tab button. So we can uh, go to the that particular pin setting. So there is an option which is the display name and the designator, right? So by by uh, you know, uh, so here we put the you know the name of the pin, and this is the designator. So for first pin we'll put one here. And for display name, just I have already saved the, uh, you know, wh what we are going to design a 28 pin IC. So I have, I have already set the, uh, the you know, the, the power pins, uh, what, like what is the power pins and the uh, name of the pin, okay? So just first pin is the, this is the P PD3, just control C, uh, copy this particular uh, pin number. You can already, s you can uh, save the, this uh, pin over the Excel sheet like I, I did. So whatever you are designing, right? So just return to the LTM designer and just paste it here, okay? And place this particular pin like this. Just press the, j when you place the uh, first pin, it will automatically create a second pin, okay? So just place, place it like uh, you did in uh, first pin. Just press the tab button and uh, copy the second pin Paste it here, okay. Place the pin, okay. So, like three. Okay. So, uh, this is the first method. By this, like we, you will place the you know lot uh, like whatever the number of pins. Of in in my case, the, the pins are twenty eight. So I will play place like uh, fourteen pins uh, at one side of the component and the fourteen pin at the another side of the component, right? So like not wasting much time in this particular uh, part, uh, let's discuss about the second method about the uh, of uh, uh, symbol creating, okay? So just delete those pins. Now we'll discuss about the second method, okay? So in the second method, what you need to do, you know, just, you know, just increase the size of this particular, yeah. Now it's okay. So, now what we need to do, we, we need to place the pins like this. So, one, one. Just place the pin first. You doesn't need uh, to press the tab button. Just place all the, sorry. Just place all the, all the pins. So we need to place the 14 pin at, at one side of the board and the 14 pin at another side of the board. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 26, 27, 28. So here we're done with the place, uh, pins placement. Now what we need to do, we need to just name naming uh, of the pins as well as the designators, right? So we'll already select all the, uh, we have already placed the designator, right? What we need to do, we need to just uh, name those pins, okay? So just, uh, there's an option, just follow my cursor, there's an option which is the schematic library. So there are all the pins. Just shift and down arrow by which we can select all the pins. Just select all the 28 pins. And there is another option, just follow my cursor, which is the SCH. So there is an option, when you click over the SCH, they, they'll pop up a little window. And uh, there is an option, which is the SCH lib list. Just click on that. So that another window, which is pop up. So what you need to do here, you need to just uh, copy those uh, f uh, pin name, which uh, we have already copied over the Excel sheet, control C and just select the uh, name here, right? And just control V and close this window. So 
there is a problem with the size but but you can uh, see here like uh, we have uh, successfully uh, pasted all the compo uh, all the name of the uh, pins over the symbol okay so now we will discuss about the third method which is the component wizard symbol wizard sorry so here we have deleted the component just back to the project menu and what you need to do just go to the tool there is an option which is the symbol wizard just click on that in our case the number of pins is 28 and the layout is the do an inline layout now what you need to do just open the excel sheet again copy those pins select the uh, display name and control v and next one need to do mm, electrical type i have al already copied the electrical type uh, over the excel sheet from the data sheet of the particular component just control c select the first option of the electrical type and control v just up now what need to do just click on the place uh, option there is a place option in the particular uh, tab then uh, uh, just go to the place component yeah so here is the third method and we have already created the symbol here just save those that particular symbol by clicking the save button so here, uh, this is the first part of the this uh, uh, how to create a library series. Now we'll uh, discuss about the like how how to create a uh, symbol. So there are basically three methods of symbol. So we'll discuss in the next video. Thank you so much.